Houston Astros lean on Dallas Kukul in Game 5. New York, the Astros clubhouse was the quietest place inside Yankee Stadium. They had just been nine outs away from a win. Nine outs away from taking a commanding 3-1 lead in the ALCS. Nine outs away from needing just one more victory to book a trip to the World Series. But then Houston watched its four-run lead evaporate amid a furious Yankees rally. The stadium rocked while the sound of 48,804 screaming fans pierced the chilly Bronx air. The Astros imploded. After six brilliant innings from Lance McCullers Jr., their bullpen surrendered two runs in the seventh and four more in the eighth, sending Houston to a shocking 6-4 defeat in Game 4 of the ALCS. That's the game of baseball, Carlos Beltran said. Sometimes a four-run lead is not enough. The Astros once held a comfortable 2-0 series lead. But that's gone. The series is even, and it's the Yankees who seemingly have all the momentum. Houston will send a Stalas Kukul to the mound in Game 5 on Wednesday, desperately needing a win. Having the left-hander on the mound gives the Astros hope, especially with Justin Verlander, another top starter, taking the ball in Game 6. I don't think anyone thought the series was over two games ago, manager A.J. Hinch said. These have been two exciting games for the Yankees. But you've got to win four to advance and no one has won four yet. Still, this loss hurt. Hinch lifted McCullers after Aaron Judge led off the seventh with a solo homer and called on Chris Devinsky. That spot right there with the lefties, Chris Devinsky is really good against left-handed hitters, Hinch said. The move didn't work. Devinsky gave up a triple to Didi Gregorius, then Gary Sanchez hit a sacrifice fly. All tied up, Yankees' furious late comeback downs Astros 6-4, evens ALCS. Clap us, here we go, a dead even ALCS, and don't bet against the Yankees. All rise, Aaron Judge ignites Yankees' comeback before tying hit. The four-run lead was cut to two. Things only got worse in the eighth. That's a good team, George Springer said. They battled back. Todd Frazier started things off with a single off Joe Musgrove. Then came a strange play where pinch hitter Chase Headley singled to left, but rounded first to attempt a double. When he rounded the base, he stumbled and fell. Carlos Correa's threw the relay to first, believing Headley was going to go back to the base. Henley instead took off for second and slid in safely, just beating the tag. The key really in that inning is not turning Headley's ball into an out, Hinch said. Hinch then brought in Ken Giles, his best reliever, but it didn't help either. Two run doubles from Aaron Judge and Gary Sanchez the decisive 6-4 lead. We let really good star get away from Lance, Giles said. We should have taken advantage of that start. We didn't execute. So now the Astros are treating this as a new series. Kukul was dominant during the regular season, going 14-5 with a 2.90 era. He dominated the Yankees in Game 1, scattering four hits across seven score of the innings with one walk and ten strikeouts. He's already made one start of this magnitude against the Yankees. In the 2015 Al Wild Card game, he pitched six shutout innings and gave up just three hits. There's going to be different challenges depending on how this game ends up, and I look forward to it, Kukul said. But just being here it brings a sense of calmness just because of the fact that we did win the 2015 wild card. But then again, that was two years ago. So this is a whole new team, a whole new challenge. And this is what we play for. And if the Astros do pick up a Game 5 win, they have Justin Verlander starting Game 6 back at Minute Maid Park. Given the circumstances, it's an ideal situation for the Astros, they have their two best starters lined up to try and get the Astros a pair of wins. But on Tuesday night, they had a chance to come within one win of the World Series. Then it slipped away. We're happy to have those two guys lined up, Beltrant said. But at the end of the day, we have to go out there as a team and play good baseball. That's the bottom line. Email, iceman at northjersey.com.